Carpe's done it. He's wrapped up the win, but who's going to get second place? It's a double for Carpe, but it's Max Shears who's going to take second place. Who's going to be third? Vader Batama on the podium. Vader, ah. he gets... Hi, Veda. How are you feeling? Very excited. Also, today, free practice. Check it. Number 83, Avalvaro Carpe, who's going to lead up the road. Very aggressive as he switches direction there, isn't he? Absolutely dynamite from the uh, from the young lad on the 54. Carpe, this is the third. Is that Morelli in the lead? I think it could be. He's necking it with everybody. What's at the camera angle? No. Keyless into third. Oh, my goodness. Morelli leads. David Carpe, he's going to win this one. Oh, he got the drive. Brilliant. In the last corner, I was so close to them. But... Veda Ega Pratama mengetuk pintu panggung balapan Eropa. Pembalap muda Indonesia Veda Ega Pratama perlahan tapi pasti mengetuk pintu panggung balapan Eropa setelah naik podium pertama kalinya di Red Bull Rovies Cup 2024 di sirkuit Red Bull Ring. Spielberg, Austria, Minggu 18 Agustus. Veda membutuhkan 10 balapan dari 5 seri untuk mengenal Red Bull Rovies Cup, sebuah kompetisi balap rider muda yang melahirkan banyak pembalap dunia di MotoGP seperti Jorge Martin, Brad Binder. Joan Mir, Enea Bastianini, hingga Pedro Acosta. Podium Veda sempat tertunda pada hari 1, Sabtu 17 Agustus ketika ia terjatuh pada lap terakhir saat bersaing dengan gerombolan pembalap posisi terdepan yang diisi 8 pembalap. Saat itu, tanda-tanda performa Veda akan membuahkan podium sudah terlihat karena kecepatan motornya sangat baik hingga memasuki lap terakhir. Namun, saat akan memasuki tikungan terakhir, Veda membuat kesalahan yang membuat dia berada di situasi terhimpit oleh pembalap lainnya saat menikung. Veda berusaha menghindari kontak, tetapi agresivitas pembalap belia di Red Bull Rockies Cup membuat usahanya sia-sia. Ia akhirnya tersungkur dan podium pertama yang sudah lama diincarnya hilang di depan mata. Kamera siaran langsung menangkap gesture tubuhnya sangat kecewa. Ia berkali-kali menggelengkan kepala seolah tak percaya podium pertamanya lenyap. Saya merasa dalam balapan ini jauh lebih baik dari sebelumnya di Red Bull Rookies. Tapi saya tidak beruntung hari ini di lap terakhir, kata Veda setelah balapan, dikutip dari laman resmi Red Bull Rookies Cup, Selasa. Saya mencoba untuk memperebutkan podium tetapi saya jatuh di tikungan kedua menuju tikungan terakhir. Saya mendorong dengan sangat keras, saya sedikit terjepit tetapi itu juga kesalahan saya karena saya terlalu banyak tergelincir di belakang, tambahnya. Ketidakberuntungan pada hari pertama di Red Bull Ring membuat dia belajar bahwa podium pertamanya di Red Bull Rookies Cup akan segera didapatkan apabila fokus dan ketenangannya terus terjaga hingga. Garis Finish Persaingan di Red Bull Rookies Cup menuntut semua rider untuk memiliki fokus, ketenangan, teknik, dan fisik yang sangat baik di setiap balapan. Pasalnya, semua pembalap di ajang ini memiliki pace kecepatan yang setara sehingga persaingan setiap balapannya sangat ketat. Situasi ini membuat rombongan pembalap di posisi depan bisa diisi 5-10 pembalap sehingga setiap pembalap yang membuat kesalahan sedikit pun akan menuai petaka, entah kecelakaan atau mundur jauh ke posisi belakang. Pembalap 15 tahun itu akhirnya memperbaiki penampilannya pada race 2, Minggu 18 Agustus saat balapan dengan 16 lap digelar lebih dini dari balapan utama MotoGP di sirkuit yang sama. The work to do. He's still lying back at him do something special. He's the points leader at the moment. But there is Marco Morelli. He was um, in Assen. So he's had a bit of a mixed bag in between. But he can see he's already had two victories this year. Yeah, exactly. That's his form right now. Well, that's right. He is right. And as he said, it's, you know, the, the, this track has already... The... One, four, eight, while has uh, Rico Salmelo. He starts from pole position. Here. Thompson, Ramastorfer and Uriarte. Stand up Austria. He man's in eight. Good stuff from our... But more and more crazy towards the end of the race. I really had a great time. And he's said I'm just going to play, try and do the same thing again, but makes back there in third place. Yeah, Kilo has been a bit quiet the last few laps, hasn't he? Just sort of not not doing anything too rash and just even faster. 144.3 last time around. 
So plenty of pace left for all the... There's still five and a half laps, half laps remaining, but he's more or less back where he was in the race yesterday, not being able to perhaps run those own lines. Yeah, it's, uh, we're going to see tone change in a couple of laps' time. They cross the finish line now, five laps. Now they've re-established a bit of an advantage over the chasing pack. Kilo's moved up into second place, but it's still Carpe out front, he generally. He is, and I mean, you know, he, lived, he did his last... Position now is the Italian, as we see Peroni go over track limits on the edge to exit. Any pieces that may fall in their favour? They're a second and a half behind. Actually, then your leaders, so they could well be catching them up come the end of versus Pratama. I mean, whatever Pini does this weekend, he's got... I wonder if it's uh, he's decided that he's stayed off the green enough. And it's Straight Ooh. back. That was an overly Ooh. ambitious Ooh. move. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. and uh, Carpe Lily swipes uh, his... I've never seen anything <laughs> like that before, to be honest with you. A rider goes from third to first to fourth in a space. You said it, green. didn't you? <laughs> he's, he's not going to track limits, Ward. He's said, well, I've got a few in my pocket now. <laughs> As in biggest style, it's kicked off. It has worked. Joining the party as well. Uh, it's just off the back. They're within a second now. No. My goodness. Well, superb stuff. OK, right, three and a bit like advantage oh, over Rusho Moodley. Up the inside and a big bobble for him as he tries Actually, that's him too far away. Right, so it's Max Kiers now who has the advantage move on the previous lap. Oh, oh Kiers goes from first to fifth. Yes. Now he's going to put the hammer down. He, kn I think he knows that he, with the gearing, he can't just run in the pack. He's got to get out in front, side by side with Alvaro Carpe. Carpe has the advantage on the brakes. He does, he does indeed. Fighting with Ramastorfer in 11th place. Pons is up there to claim some more points in 13th. Out of it, well. He's still got the advantage over Alvaro Carpe. Peroni up into third place. Kies is fourth. He hasn't yet shown everything, I think. There's two and a half laps to go. And it's Uriarte and Carpe. Yeah. Anyway, he's of Brian Uriarte. They've got about four or five by part of the race. Obviously, they're going to come down to two laps to go with a, after a couple of corners. It is yesterday's winner, Pratama, to take third place. Rico getting pushed back again uh, with him as well. So we've actually got eight riders now towards the end of this, potentially battling for the podium. You've got Moodley just off the back. How far off the back? Half a second. So two laps to go. He's really... Brian Uriate takes up the lead. He's got Kiez on his tail. Then it's up. Changing direction. Oh, oh. that's so tight. So, oh, it's so ragged. It really is well, now. What? Ten men battling for these. He's going up the side of Pugliese. They are off the back here. The riders starting to try and avoid the slipstream, hugging the white line. Then Pini on the back of this group once again. Here we go down into turn. In the lead. This is as tense. They have absolutely pulled the pin. They're still rid of what it was yesterday. It's all on the line here. These Spaniards up front, but then Vader Fatana. In the 50. At the 54, he's into fourth position at the moment, up the inside of Keyless. That's where it's yesterday. Pini in fifth as well. They go sideways down into turn 10. Up here in Austria, they fan out. Here we go. Carpe on one side of the track, and he's got... Uh, he's taken the advantage away from Brian. Carpe, superb on the left. Patama's up there into second place. Wow, what a drive that was from Uri Artama through the middle of the corner. It's time for 2A and 2B. Yeah, it is hard on the brakes. Oh, it was very close. Oh, my goodness. Carpe was a superb drive out ahead of Brian Uriarte. The 28 of Kies in third place ahead of Vader. Brian's gone down. The front end bobbled and it went away from him. That's Uriarte out. You never see him make a mistake like that. Tidy through there. Absolutely superb stuff for them. The inside trying to make the move there. I think it's made. Kies. He may have been in eighth place. Marouche Moodley's made a good start up from 10th to 7th as well. This second of the circuit into turn six. Back into third gear here. Over the hill, up into sixth gear and 200 kilometres an hour. 126 miles an hour. Look at this. Rico Samala into the lead. Stop in. Rico way wide over the rumble strip. Max Kiles out from nowhere. Fourth position up to second then. What a luck. But it is still Samala with the advantage. Morelli up into third. Brilliant stuff. Well, it's like what the likes of Rico and Carpe are trying to do here. But the problem is they got Kiles, Morelli. Oh, and somebody almost lost it coming out of the chicane way back in Jerez at the start of the season. So that's two for two. Navarro Carpe's got ideas under the brakes. They go back from 200 kilometers an hour to 90. He's in 13th spot at the moment, but that just shows how fast the pace is here. With every happened already this afternoon in the MotoGP race. 
so by the, the pink on the back of the helmet then uh, he Kiles leading the way down to come back remember last year if you're watching born races he was the pint-sized pocket rocket along with Rico Salmella with that mate, it is Kiles who leads now he he didn't qualify on pole but he was I had so much front end chatter around right off the track at least they said I found out where the limit was there you go finding limits are going even further Kiles uh, going across the next overtaking opportunity and it's back at the first gear here it's the slowest point of the track just 66 kilometers now 41 miles an hour through this first gear right hand and get the drive <laughs> to watch I'm just cheering for everybody this is brilliant hugging the white line on the run down to a turn advantage over Patama and Peroni Peroni goes up the inside Morelli oh. round the outside oh. trying him oh, oh. Carpe lap and a couple of corners remaining it's neck and neck with Peroni and Vader going into turn nine this is where he's lastly weaving a, sh and a shake here when he first hit the front but he's looking so good through the did he touch the did green he? did, did he? he that's he, the now, question and of course he cannot do that he, whether he's got along that uh, the warning or not he cannot do that on the final lap you you touch the cut the pieces if there are any mistakes is that Morelli in the lead I think it could be he's neck and neck with everybody what's at the camera angle last of the late breakers at a 2a2b here we go and uh Kies is coming Kies is still coming he's there he's on the back of them surely he can't pull off a miracle here goodness me what a return that would be Morelli into second place can't be still the advantage Marco Morelli in second but he didn't get the drive oh look at them three abreast oh three abreast keep it sensible boys in the turn four it's Carpe versus Morelli out front will they who's going up there Kiles into third oh my goodness well you said he couldn't do it he must have heard that because he has he's got it. Carpe runs it wide there is a few bike lengths Peter is it too late Uriate there is back into third place he's got back in front of Kies he knows that this is the battle for the points lead this is the battle for the championship there in third and in uh, third and fourth place while Carpe and Morelli deal at the front. Here we go, Peter. Morelli, will he outbreak him? He looks for the through there. Oh, no, it's a green Apini, my mistake. But let's pay attention back to the... It's Kies in second place, ahead of Peroni and the 54 of Vader Pantama. Surely it's going to be sorted out between... He's only got two corners to hold it together. He's brilliant through these two corners. Surely too. it's too far. It's too far. Cross Peroni, this is it. Carpe's done it. He's wrapped up the win, but who's going to get second place? It's a double for Carpe, but it's Max Kies who's going to take second place. Who's going to be third? Vader Pantama on the podium. Vader, ah. he gets it. His first podium in Rookies Cup. He's done it. Absolutely brilliant. Well, it all came up. Veda Ega Pratama jadi pemuncak Rokies terbaik di Red Bull Rokies Cup 2024 setelah seri Asen. Bos KTM siap bajak digadang-gadang jadi penerus Pedro Acosta. Setelah melalui serangkaian balapan sengit di Red Bull Rokies Cup 2024, nama Veda Ega Pratama semakin dikenal di kalangan pecinta balap motor. Pembalap muda asal Indonesia ini berhasil menunjukkan performa gemilangnya dan kini menjadi pemuncak klasemen Rokies terbaik setelah seri keempat. Keberhasilan ini tidak hanya mengukuhkan posisinya sebagai salah satu pembalap muda berbakat tetapi juga menarik perhatian besar dari tim-tim papan atas termasuk KTM. Veda Ega Pratama memulai musim ini, penuh semangat dan determinasi pada seri pertama, ia menunjukkan kemampuannya dengan finish di posisi 10 besar sebuah prestasi yang cukup mengesankan untuk. Seorang Rokies, konsistensi Veda semakin terlihat pada seri-seri berikutnya ia terus mengasah keterampilannya memperbaiki catatan waktunya dan belajar dari setiap balapan. Pada seri keempat yang berlangsung di sirkuit Asen Belanda, Veda tampil biasa meskipun menghadapi persaingan ketat dari para pembalap lain memastikan dirinya sebagai pemimpin klasemen Rokies terbaik. Prestasi ini semakin mengukuhkan reputasinya sebagai pembalap yang patut diperhitungkan di ajang Red Bull Rokies Cup, keberhasilan Veda tidak luput dari perhatian para petinggi di dunia balap motor. Terutama dari kubu KTM. Pete Bierer CEO KTM menyatakan kekagumannya terhadap talenta muda ini menurut Bierer, Veda memiliki potensi besar untuk menjadi pembalap top di masa depan. Kami telah mengamati Veda Ega Pratama selama beberapa waktu performa dan konsistensinya sangat mengesankan, dia memiliki semua yang kami cari, dalam seorang pembalap muda ujar Bier Bierer menambahkan. Bahwa KTM berencana untuk membajak Veda dari timnya saat ini dan memberikan kesempatan untuk berkembang lebih jauh di bawah bendera KTM. Pembalap Indonesia Veda Ega Pratama tampil mengesankan selama perhelatan Red Bull Raw Kies Cup. Pembalap Indonesia Veda Ega Pratama mampu catatkan hasil impresif selama race dua hari. Pada race pertama Veda Ega sempat merangsek ke posisi terdepan dan sempat memimpin balapan. Padahal Veda Ega Pratama belum pernah berlaga sebelumnya di sirkuit Asen. 
menunjukkan kalau ia memang cepat beradaptasi di balapan Eropa yang terkenal keras. Ia akhirnya finish di posisi 4, hanya kalah 0,6 detik dari pemenang balapan. Sementara di race 2, Veda Ega yang start dari posisi 12 sempat berusaha naik ke posisi 5 besar, tapi ia lama tertahan di rombongan kedua selama race kedua Red Bull Rookies Cup Belanda. Alhasil ia tertinggal dari rombongan terdepan. Veda Ega harus puas finish di posisi ke-7 atau pemimpin di rombongan kedua. Veda Ega terus menjaga hasil konsistennya selama musim debutnya di Red Bull Rookies Cup 2024, usai seri Red Bull Rookies Cup Belanda Veda Ega mampu mengumpulkan 61 poin. Saat ini ia duduk di posisi 8 klasemen pembalap. Seri berikutnya Red Bull Rookies Cup akan digelar di sirkuit Red Bull Ring, Austria pada 17 hingga 18 Agustus mendatang. Pembalap muda Indonesia Veda Ega Pratama mengakhiri seri keempat Red Bull Rookies Cup 2024 di sirkuit Titi Asen, Belanda, minggu di posisi ke-7 setelah satu hari sebelumnya hampir mendapatkan podium ketika finish pada posisi keempat di race 1. Memulai start dari posisi ke-12, Veda tak membalap seperti pada race 1 ketika ia kecepatan motornya terus bersaing bersama rombongan pembalap terdepan. Veda cukup lama menghuni posisi ke-8 pada balapan 15 lap itu sebelum kemudian ia naik satu tingkat ke posisi 7 pada lap 7, di bawah enam rombongan pembalap yang sudah jauh di depannya. Pada lap ke-10, pembalap 15 tahun itu turun ke posisi ke-11. Ia lalu naik ke posisi 9 pada lap ke-10 sebelum kembali turun satu tingkat ke posisi 10 pada lap 13. Memasuki lap terakhir, Pembalap asal Gunung Kidul, daerah istimewa Yogyakarta, D.Y., itu naik ke posisi 8 dan akhirnya dapat mengunci posisi 7 setelah mengalahkan pembalap Australia Charter.